welcome back everybody. Hello Echo. Echo, you know you shouldn't be biting like that. I know. I'm watching. Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to the show. Uh, I am here with my dog Echo. I once again don't have the camera on because at this point I just didn't feel like setting it up. Um, my head was killing me earlier. Luckily the conversation I had with everybody and playing this game kind of started to forget about it, which was nice. Everybody was really awesome in the chat earlier, and it really made my day and helped me out a lot. And then afterwards, I I uh, passed out, I think, from the uh, the amount of uh, liquid Tylenol that I drank. And when I woke up, I started editing my Venom vlog, episode 500 podcast, or podcast episode. And I'm going to post it tomorrow morning. It's rendering right now, so it's, uh, it's probably going to take a it's a 35 minute episode, so it'll probably take like an hour and a half, two hours maybe to render, because I'm trying to do it at a, a, a pretty decent size quality. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's going to take a while. And it's going to take a while to upload tonight too, because what I'll probably do is start uploading it tonight um, and then schedule it to go up at like noon tomorrow or something. Because noon here will be 9 a.m. LA time, so, uh, so hopefully it'll get a lot of the, the groups of friends that I give shout outs to in that episode it'll be perfect time for them to watch it so so yeah I'm excited it's a uh, it's not your usual Venom vlog I mean it's like it's just me kind of going back and and looking at um, you know at the last 10 years of my life and, and and also the last few years since we started the show um, it's it's it was fun it was cool to go down memory lane at least the best that I can so uh yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And then here we are now with uh, more Final Fantasy VII. I just figured, well, it's rendering. I don't got anything else to do. I certainly don't want to watch a movie. The last like couple things I watched, I just hated. I, Extraction was pretty good. That was a Chris Hemsworth movie. that had some really good action in it, so it kept my attention in regards to the action. Um, but, uh, yeah, outside of that, though, um, I was... I was, you know, I think I watched a lot of poopy films. Um, Free Fire was, God, that was, movie was garbage. Uh, I know somebody was trying to defend it. They were like, oh, it's not so bad. And I'm like, whatever. Um, is this place only for that fight? Is that the only reason it existed? No, no, like, hidden battles or anything there? Dang it. Uh, so what I'm trying to do here is we're, since we're starting off, I'm going to run back into town because she was like, oh, you want to call it a night? It's not nighttime yet. So I guess the I guess the game is just kind of like, a, you know, it's like it's open. So it's like we can, you know, run around. So I'm hoping we can run back to that train station now because the Turk guy, we dealt with him. Can I ask you something? Does the uh, water smell bother you? I can't smell it. The water here in Florida smells. When I was running a shower earlier, I was like, God, I let it run for like two minutes because, uh, yeah, I thought it stunk. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Do we complete? We didn't complete the last thing? What monster? To receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Let's get, let's check. Tests have shown that striking organism with elemental against which is weak will impair its defense, aiming to develop materia that will make it use... Okay, so we got to do this so we can get steel materia. Um, that's actually a good materia to have. All right, so let's... He has deadly dodge, wind, ice, and assess, and it's maxed out. Do I not need... I guess I don't need to use Assess anymore, huh? Okay, let's put something in here we can use. Another element, hopefully. Light... Lightning? Do I have Lightning? I have Wind and Ice. Okay, good. And Lightning. Alright, and then... Aerith has... Oh, she's missing stuff. Well, I don't want to put Shiva there. But she has poison, prayer, ice. Let's get rid of ice. Damn it, we don't have a free... 
I guess we can take Tifa's. Because we need a fire just in case we run into an enemy that is weak against fire. Can we buy materia from anyone? Isn't there a guy that sells materia over here? Got nothing but the best here. Good. Look at that. Let's buy two of them. Fire, ice, lightning. Cool. That way I don't have to take anybody's. So between the th between the two of them, they'll have they'll have a pretty good amount of stuff to use. Let's get her a fire. Boom. Cool. So we'll oh wait the kids. So we'll run through the kids. No, no, no. You know what? We've done that enough. Let's go out here. Don't you say hey you to me. Don't call me Merc. Because maybe we can even go all the way back to the church. That's what I'm hoping. Hey, thank you. Better to cleave you and twain with. Oh, I thought he said Walmart. He said Wall Market. All these people love Walmart. Alright, let's see where we are in the map. How do I get that song? Hey there, man. You into music? Hell yeah, dude. I screwed up an order of discs, sitting on a mountain of them now. Mind taking at least one off my hands? Done. Sweet. That's all we had to do to get that song. Stupid me, thinking I could sell them. All right. Yeah, screw it. We're gonna, cause remember we missed that materia. Get your slum meatballs right here. But maybe we'll get into some fights too. Look at that. We missed this too, bruh. Yeah, man, we're running. We're gonna go all the way back to that church. This episode is called uh, uh, <laughs> Backtrack. <laughs> That's it. That's the word I was looking for. And if we get into any battles, we'll, um, I'll just try to use magic, because, right, that's what the, I gotta use, the extreme conditions in which certain monsters thrive have provided them with unique curative abilities. My aim is to harness the skill in the form of materia, assess enemies to provide further intel. Conditions, assess two enemy types. Oh, I already did that. This is the one I need to do. Exploit weakness of 15 enemy types. Strike an organism with an element against which it is weak. So, I don't know. I could assess them and figure it out, but I unequipped the assess uh, one. So we'll just kind of wing it. Anything over there? 
Nada. All right, so I think this is where we need to go back to the church. Because we ran across the roofs earlier, but... Yeah, this... Oh, look at that. Nice and easy. Because I was like, oh man, that roof thing took us like 10 minutes to walk through. So this is nice that we can just walk right up to the church. We're running in here, I guess. Look at that. Ran right past it earlier. Chakra. Oh, now all the obstacles are out of our way. So we can explore it even more. I like when they run into each other. I think that's it, right? Because we grabbed everything else on the way up. What is that thing? This church has seen better days, man. Um, all right, sweet. We did exactly what I wanted to do in this episode. <laughs> and we ran all the way back to the church. But uh, I do want to get the last of, before we go, I'm glad Aerith was so like persistent. like. Do you really want to, you know, call it a night? I'm glad she said that, because uh, there's clearly more things we got to do. We got that materia, and then now we can go to the where the kids area hideout is, and we can run through all that and fight some monsters. There's also even the area. You know what? We might take that route. The area that, uh, like, instead of going to the train station, we went around. And we fought a bunch of enemies. Is that what this is? Maybe this is what that is. Oh, we'll figure it out. But we're gonna go look for something to fight. We'll use this magic on them. Echo Mist. Echo, you okay? Echo, you okay? Echo. Hang on. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Eat your baby. He's because <laughs> I kept hearing cracking, and I'm like. What the hell's that noise? And here he's just uh, chewing on a bone. All right, so this is the way we go to fight monsters. Now let's see. I'm gonna just Google these enemies. Rare rats. Ice. Okay. No holding back. Let's do this. Eric, don't kill them all. Please. Three. Cool. Going in. That's it. That was close. Damn it. She's gonna kill them all before my TVs charge up. You're done. Is it 
Let's yeah, I go. guess it doesn't work more than once, huh? Dang it. Okay. We gotta do it on different enemies. What are those? Gorgers. Nice. Okay, nice. Leave this to me. I don't think so. Good. Keep her down. Because <laughs> I don't want her attacking these guys. Come on, ATB. Charge up. There we go. You're mine. What else are they? Any kind of magic? Buzz off. Oh, she hit it. She hit him with the weakness. Did that that count? Nope. Or maybe we because we probably already did that one earlier. Hey, Echo, welcome back. Alright. We'll keep going. Wish those eyeball things were still here. We probably, we probably, sh you know, didn't hit. They're probably one of the enemy types we didn't get. Um. And we probably missed out on that because they're, I think they're only exclusive to that one mission. Hedgehog pies. Okay, let's look at it. Ice also? Jeez. I don't think so. Google medals. That's awesome. Okay, that's a dead end. You sure you wanna fight? You okay? You okay? The hell was that? You alright, dude? Jeez, that guy scared me. It's okay. I don't know what you did. I'm coming. Is that it? 
Um, yeah, that was weird. Echo just yelped. Um, I don't know what's up with that. He's sitting next to me chewing on a bone. Maybe a piece of the bone went in his gums or something. circle but it's cool Yeah, it might be too late for us to get that uh, that um, little bonus anim or uh, thing with uh, Chadley, because uh, I think I was supposed to be doing that this whole time. <laughs> so there's a couple enemies that we're probably never gonna see again. That's a bummer. I wonder if I can reactivate the quests. Door is locked. I don't want it to be locked though. How do I get up there? There's a materia in there. Like, that would be awesome if we could have activated, like, one of these things, reactivate it so we can revisit those enemies. Oh well. Could be one of those things that you have to do on a second playthrough. Or, like I said, I just should have paid more attention the first playthrough. I don't know if I have enough Moogle medals, but let's go see if I do. And if so, let's spend a few. around here having problems today. Thanks for helping out, you guys. You're welcome, buddy. Let's go see this one. Welcome to the Moogle Emporium. Ah, we have four. Dang it. Mm. And I kind of want to buy one of those books because I was like, oh, I could get this. You know, or or the silver staff, but neither of those help Aerith too much, so I'm kind of against having it. Have a merry Moogle day, Koopa. Thanks. Don't call me Koopa. I wanna become strong just like you. Wanna play some whack-a-box? 
Oh yeah, I guess I can still do this. Oh, I already got all the prizes though. So I guess I don't. You'll never be any good unless you whack, whack, whack. Dude, I got the highest score in the first playthrough. I'm good, bruh. There's an enemy there. Usually there's an enemy out here. Dang, man. Uh, no enemies gonna spawn now? Ah, that sucks. It's got the music like it's like there's gonna be enemies, but. This backtracking episode was kind of a waste of time. Well, a waste of 30 minutes. But not really. We at least went back to the church and got the materia. But yeah, it's kind of a shame that, that we can't fight anything else. Call it a, let's call it a day. Let's just go and end this end this chapter. Hopefully, should have been paying attention to this because I bet you the um, I bet you the three types of enemies we missed were some of the, the tougher you know only show up once kind of enemies At least we got the material at the church. Now we can You're heading in already? wrap this up. Yeah, don't ask me again. You know we are. Yeah, that's enough for one day. Sure is. We did enough for two days, actually. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Not even any time. Calm down. In case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Guest room, huh? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask. But would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back. Good. Oh, now, wow. I hope you're hungry. Starving. She's right? very blunt. I've never been so proud. The man you've become, 
Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. Uh, they you are know, actually kinds of temptations in the big city. <laughs> I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl, one who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type. An older, more mature say. person who will call you a silly goose. Time to leave a no fuss, bruh. Don't want to overstay my welcome. Oh shit, that lady was pretty pretty direct. Well, oh shit, okay. You're leaving? So, how you do told I get to Sector to. 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Jeez. You're... I'm sorry. Uh, well... I guess at least I got the apology. But Cloud doesn't have his head on straight anyway, so it's probably good that he doesn't ruin this girl's life. Oh, shoot. Whoops. So we got to cut through section or sector six, but I didn't see a. Oh, I know sector six. It was the way she told me not to go earlier, probably. Oh, can we fight some in here? It's nighttime now. Oh, we can't even go in there. Is everybody inside? So I won't see Chadley or anybody. This lady's still hanging out. What a creep! If it isn't the new florist. I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, hey, sure stupid unicycle, what's up? Too. Sure. How are you, dude? Who knew talking to the kids about the past? Yeah, it looks like, uh... Chadley's not there anymore. Alright. So I think this way is to sector six, because this is the way she wouldn't let us run earlier. What's this place called? Sam's Delivery Service? Good, I've been messing around with my Revoltech uh, Carnage and uh, taking some pictures of it. Nice, dude! Uh, when are you going to post those? You posting them up on uh, Twitter, Instagram? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? 
Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> What? Now she triggers his memories? Whoa. You just cried, bruh. Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. see the sky they're still working on the new plate oh I don't like this part of Midgar back when they were still building Midgar there was an accident and the plate fell people had only just started moving in so there weren't a lot oh left that's there. where all the damage comes from that sucks they were building that thing and it fell on on everything down here that sucks so bad and that's the underside of Sector 6, Wall Market, a real special place. Oh, Walmart's but up there. I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you. I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. I don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Ooh. Folks started Any places where we can dress in drag and have a great booming. show? Money was flowing. Yas, queen! Which attracted the attention of some guys <laughs> who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. Wow. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. Uh, okay, so I guess we're not going to Walmart. Have you been? And thanks for following my Instagram. Hey, no problem. Yeah, sorry, I, I thought I already was, so uh, no problem, man. Sorry. Sometimes that happens. Like, you know, uh, I'll get a couple follows, and then I um, I forget to follow back. So, so, uh, so yeah, man. no problem at all. Sorry it took so long. And I look forward to seeing you post those pictures of the Revolt at Carnage. Um, I've been doing okay. Like, I've had a kind of a headache on and off today, but uh, it's mostly gone now. Uh, as for, Well, not gone completely, but just, like, to the point where it doesn't bother me. It's, like, not so intense. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Well, it's like crossing the rooftops with her again. Oh, yes! Ooh, look, you know what? Let's, uh, let's look up some of these enemies. Maybe we can still finish that uh, achievement thing. Terp... Uh, Terpsicult. Ice. Man, all these things fucking hate ice, huh? Yep, look at that. So we can still finish this uh, this thing for what's his nuts, Chadley. Well, that's good. Yeah, man, no complaints. Uh, earlier we were playing this. We played this like around noon today. We played for like two and a half hours, and that that kind of cheered me up because uh, the game was fun, and also the uh, don't you mean we've got it? And also the the people in the chat were were awesome, so it helped out a lot, man. Uh, how are you today? Or 
tonight, actually, because it's 11 my time. I don't know how, what time it is your time or not. Wind. Oh, good. Something else. For once. So we gotta find one more enemy to use magic on. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... <laughs> I haven't been very active because of school when it's 8 p.m. your time. Oh, God. oh yeah, right. Other coast. Um, I hear you. Well, I mean, I'm glad you're still doing school. I know there's some people that aren't, so. Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. Serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Sounds good. Yeah, so I am kind of low energy right now because it's it's been a long day, but I did I did get a nap in, which was nice. Um, got like a good three hour nap in, which helped me recharge, helped my head. You did it. Um, yeah. But then I got up and started uh, working on the Venom vlog episode. So okay. episode 500. Oh yeah, go ahead, take a shot, man. Do your thing. But just so you know, Venom vlog episode 500, it'll go up tomorrow morning. Um, and it's a doozy. Stop. So it's like a long episode, 35 minutes. Did you wake oh. it up? I think he's lightning. Oops. Yep. So now, next time we see um, that kid, we can uh, we can get him to make that steel material for us. Nice. So we did not fail after all. I wonder if someone blocked it all because of all the monsters that kept showing up. It's a pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm. That's supposed to be a compliment. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Sid? Here for a bit? Awesome. I think we'll, I don't know how much longer we'll play, probably like 45 more minutes, maybe. Um, try to get in a good hour and a half before I call it quits. Um, I have my episode 500 of Venom Blog rendering, so um, when this, when we're done with this, I'll probably walk Echo, and then if it's finished rendering, I'll probably start uploading it to YouTube. 
just to get it ready and I'll schedule it. So that way if I want to, if, if I'm lucky enough and able to sleep in tomorrow, I don't have to worry about uploading it in the morning and I can just have it scheduled to go up at like noon my time. Um, so that'd be good. So I'm going to try to do that. Because then tomorrow when I wake up, I want to finish the Superman episode I was editing. Um, and post that on, on Patreon. So that way I have that up as well. Bring it. You're mine. It's on now. Go on. Yeah. Here we go again. Yeah. Nice. Aerith kicks ass when I'm not playing as her because when I switch to her, I do okay, but when the computer is her, she's super helpful. Ooh, secret area back here. Thousand Gil, just chilling, man. Nice. Uh, it's good to see you, Sid. Sid, uh, without Sid, we would not be playing this game even. So, uh, big shout out to Sid, as always, for this game. I'm sorry you missed a couple episodes. Uh, yeah, like, uh, sometimes I get a little wordy on Instagram posts, and I'm like, hey, here's what I'm doing for Instagram. And, and then I'll squeeze in at the end there. And I'm also going to play Final Fantasy VII. And it's so I understand missing, um, missing my post. I totally get it. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Oh, you bet, huh? What, two high fives? Hmm. Yeah, she's an odd girl. Sweet. Oh, no. And uh, definitely heart in the right place. Gotta be so tough. But, uh. <laughs> You'll make this yeah. Easier. Yes, I, I, I understand where Cloud's coming from, actually. Uh, if I well, went to talk to a girl. And she, uh, and she did like a, hi, and then, you know, okay, held up, Ready? <laughs> held up like a two fingers or a peace sign or, you know, whatever, and she, she was like bubbly like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if I could, uh. I don't know if I could, uh, I could be their friend, definitely, but I don't know if I could be interested in them. Okay, now you have my full attention. <laughs> Meaning, well, what has your full Oh, because you're done doing what you're doing. Okay, I was like, I thought it was what I said. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> Did I, I said something? Like... All right, fair enough. Oh. Let's have her. Let's have her go get that materia then. Hmm. Hold on a second. Cool, binding materia. 
I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> we are no, I was just rambling about uh, how nice Aerith is. But when she acts like really bubbly and she's like, Hi and she has like her hands up and she's like she's like a super anime chick. I'm like, I can kinda understand where where uh, Cloud's coming from as far as like not having in maybe like partly not having interest in her. Because he kind of looks like, he's like, how old are you? Even though I think Aerith is supposed to be a little bit older than him, but yeah, she kind of acts like uh, she kinda, she kind of acts like someone who's okay, way younger right than him, there. and she acts like an anime character, and he's just kind of like, uh, so I, I feel him on that Hold one. On I get it. Because I, I don't know if in real life I'm like, oh, I could be friends with somebody who acts like that, but I don't know if I could date somebody who acts like that. So that's, that's, that's what I was saying before you came in. So when you came in, you're like, now you have my full attention. I was like, wait, because I said that? <laughs> but it was just a good timing. Um, and right now we're just cutting through, uh, we're trying to get from Slum 5, where we were, to Slum 7, which is where we started in the game, where Tifa and all of them are. Um, so, uh, so we're just trying to get to, to, you know, back home, or back to where they are. And Aerith volunteered to help us, and so she's showing us a path through Sector 7 on how to get to, uh, 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 uh through Sector 6 on how to get through to Sector 7. Yeah, and overly oh, chilly over people, yeah, they worry me too. A little bit. En enough to just where, like, if, if there was interest on their part to me, I probably wouldn't reciprocate. I'd be like, uh, you seem very nice. We can definitely be friends. But I can't talk to someone who thinks they're a cartoon. Like, on a daily basis. Whoa, not too romantically. Fast, okay? Got it. Is there... Anything I can grab in here? Is this the way we're supposed to go? I thought I found a secret area. I didn't, did I? That is the way we're supposed to go. But I'm glad I came back up here because I want to buy this song. Ooh, what's that? That'll help Cloud, Tifa, and Barrett. Doesn't do shit for, uh, what's her name though, does it? I think we have all of these. We do. It's a good song. Um, oh wait, so we gotta go, yeah, this way? Man, I'm glad we backtracked. Because I was like, yeah, this must be the way to go, because if this was a secret area, then whatever we needed to get would have been right here. Um, they wouldn't make us go through and do all this and uh, and walk across beams and stuff, so. So I'm glad we went back, because I would hate to miss uh, a CD. I don't like those. I like, I like that you can gather the soundtrack to this game one, one song at a time. It's kind of cool. Just us. Hmm. No. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? 
I need to get back. Besides, looky here, boys. Uh -oh. Call us some burglars. Coming into our homes and stealing our shit, doing crimes. <laughs> I'd say Why is there like reggae music playing? <laughs> Whoa, what's up with that dude's eyes? I don't get it. Nah. How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> Compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, uh, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay. <laughs> What do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, uh, well, due, due recompense. recompense. No shit, <laughs> due recompense. It's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, You're gonna get a sword, I reckon. Compensatory damages. Compensatory recompense. <laughs> Butch, Beck, and Burke. I think we've heard enough. Yeah, I've definitely heard enough. Can we shut these guys up? Oh, dang. That's awesome. They're just laying there. That's amazing. Uh, thanks boys, I guess. So I guess Aerith is gonna stay with us for the night, because we can't have her walk back through this area. Oh, so. Who are you guys? Don't leave me. I'm coming. Did you really leave? I want to go check. Ghosts keep spooking my hamster. Ghosts? What? Why do you have ghosts? Yeah, they left. Holy cow. That's hilarious. Um. Yeah, why do you have ghosts? What's up with that? Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? It is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't. Not have to really random. I feel like um, that was going to come up eventually. Any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Really. She gets spooked by things I can't hear, so she freezes. Ah. Wow. Huh? What we got here? Wait, they're back? <laughs> oh, these are just bandits. Okay. Let's do thunder on the uh, prototype. I think she just jumped in front, took the uh, the brunt of those glass. Good night. Let's go. Uh, I just assumed ghosts instead of normal things like leaf rustles or outside animal noises. Could even be a noise from the TV. Um, sometimes video games will, not intentionally, but just like they're just stuff in the soundtrack or stuff in the, you know, sound mixing or something that will upset animals. I think I can't remember what game I was playing once, but Echo was like, he was like freaking out. And uh, what game was that? Because I'd love to test that again, actually. But yeah, there was this point in the game where he would just he would just kind of freak out.
Ooh, oops. Weather Channel music would freak out my dog. Oh yeah, Weather Channel? Yeah, I could see that. I tried to put on the sounds of uh, the ocean the other day. Echo didn't like that, so I switched it to rain, and he didn't mind rain so much. Um, it sucked because the waves were doing a, a slightly better job at trying to put me to sleep, <laughs> but, uh, but Echo didn't like the the waves for whatever reason. Which is, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I thought I saw materia over here. Orb of magnified materia. Gotcha. Cool. Let's give her a ride and then we'll switch arms. Things we do for our animals, right? <laughs> it's true. All right, so I can't switch arms with Eris on one of the arms, I guess. So we'll drop her off, and we'll move the other arm. Just gotta put this here. It won't drop it. Interesting. Yeah, I won't let him drop it, so I guess he's just supposed to hang on to this? Can't switch arms again until I drop this. What? The, like, what? <laughs> I don't get it. Where did the? I know it goes there. Maybe I gotta do something else first. Where's he going? Where's the other arm going? What the hell, dude? Okay. I think I understand now. I think I have to stack these two things. I mean, I don't know what else is there to do. So if this isn't right, then, then I'm too stupid to figure it out. Oops. So maybe we can drop this here and then put the other one on top of it.
Ah, look at that. Oh, it even tells me try stacking the containers. Yeah, I'm on it, game. It took me a while, I know I'm stupid, but cut me some slack. Alright, let's go and get Aerith now. It's this way. And then we put her on the stacked ones, and then we have the second arm pick her up from the stacked ones and bring her to the other one. I'm assuming. Oops. There we go. to crush her with our sentinel arms. And now she can go kick that ladder down and Cloud can run through here. Perfect. Oops. We already got the materia, so we're good there. Right. That went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> huh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. <laughs> He's gonna high five her. Oh. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you turning you into a proper sorry, weirdo, Cloud. Okay. <laughs> you two are gonna be. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna match up soon enough, dude. And it's gonna be too late because tragedy always strikes when people are happy Hold in it fiction. Right there, <laughs> Oh, dang. Well, they're stealing guilt from me. Okay. We made it. You did. Smell the fresh air. Can I go now, please? Cloud, up top. They make you hold it? Come on, it's just a high five. <laughs> All right, human contact. Hey, I, I think I remember this from the original. There it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. Come on! I guess I see the value in her goofiness. <laughs> um... She's trying to get him to enjoy moments. You know, a long time ago, um. I used to sell flowers here. Oh yeah? He's got his sword so far up his butt sometimes. Soldier first class, right? 
Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. Oh, that's right. She mentioned him earlier. Is that why she likes us? Because we remind her of him? What's his name? You probably know him. What the f Did she say the name? And that's why... Are you okay? And that's what triggered him? Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. But no, your eyes are. Sorry. You I have Zach's have. eyes. We should go. I think Zach is. Yeah, Zach's her. The person she loved. And I think she is falling for forward. Cloud because he. <laughs> it's essentially kind of is Zach in a way. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do, if they're going to change that for this edition or not. <laughs> what the f what's back there? What up, game? Bottle of ether. Yes, thank you for doing the thing. Oh, what am I doing? What thing? The slide? Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, I was I was like, ah, oh, I think in the original you could goof around in this area too. Here. Hmm. This won't take long. Oh. Want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So. <laughs> Go ahead. You not come with us? You gonna be okay getting home? said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. Why didn't we take that to get <laughs> This girl's gonna break my heart. Yes, this is it then. Ready? Well, she wouldn't let me uh, run off, so I guess so. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Tifa. Alive. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? True. I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Wow. Oh no, 
you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you oh. worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Well, we, we missed the door, so... Come on. I'm back. I had more stuff to do. Hey, that's okay, man. I'm glad you're back. We are going to go rescue Tifa. And apparently we're being encouraged to do that Come on, Cloud. We gotta by hurry. Aerith. Hi! <laughs> Sid says hi. Out of my way, signs. I saw the sign. Open up your eyes. I saw Don Caneo. Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. I got pop popcorn. <laughs> Hi, Sid. How you been? How's y'all been? Out here? I don't know you. What's your story? My story We're is I got a sword. We're who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track Come of. Come on, you literally just dropped her off like this five girl, minutes ago. What's she look like? Well... Uh, she's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? Boom. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's going to be a long while before she sees a light of day again. That's creepy. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. Oh, jeez. See what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. Yeah, normally I would have mentioned that she's a fighter, but so I don't know if the guy could have told that what are you about her. For? You know, like, based on her looks. So I was like, ah, oh, she's in great shape. And the other thing about the books, like, Tifa could also be good at that. I just, it's not something you, and there goes you know, our best normally when you describe somebody, you describe their looks. Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Not like, oh, Let's he's really out. good at math. Have you seen a kid around here that's really good at math? It's like, uh, what the fuck? No. That could be anybody who walked by today. Um, okay, so we're in slums six, huh? Hey, newbie. This delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to Don Corneo? Yes, idiot. Those ones. All right. I guess we're going into uh, the wall market. Damn. We're trying to avoid this. This is the longest day Welcome ever. Cloud's gotten like an hour of sleep. If you're not going to give me a list to choose from, then I guess none. Chadley's here. Where is Chadley? You two. Yes, you. 
Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet looking couple like you. Uh. Back, back off, off, dude. Sorry, we're in a rush. <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. I guess I could have said no thanks, but. I'm only coming in here for secret stuff. Welcome. Are you in need of accommodation? Um, no. Not right now. You know, I've heard from more than a few people that my son John has been roaming the streets of Walmart. Before he leaves town, I need to make sure I deliver him his lucky pillow. I have faith in my boy, of course. But a growing oh, man on. needs plenty of sleep. Sleep of good quality, no less. That's how mind and body stay healthy and active. In other words, this pillow is crucial to his health. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, toilets look the same in this dimension, wherever Midgar is. This is the room. They want to give us what? One of these rooms? Don't know about you, but this place sure is a lot weirder than I thought it'd be. Huh? Yeah. What you you know, like... Yeah, we're not staying here. Both Tifa and or both Aerith. Oh God, I better not make that mistake oh, often. Both Aerith and I. Uh, we should. Uh, we deserve better. Oh no. Where's the map? Is he behind us? What's this? Maybe it's broken? Oh my god, the new Jurassic World set just got leaked. It looks awesome. Um, Maybe it's broken? Jurassic World set? Like Lego set? Huh? What's that? Not working, you say? Huh. Maybe there's something oh, wrong with the wiring. Step okay. right up, step oh. right up. I'm not gonna fix it for it's you. Fully automated. This Stay way. So it's Chadley's. Oh, there he is, up there. Chadley, give us that materia. I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. It's the uh, Ankylosaurus versus Indominus, and yes, it's Lego. Nice. Sweet. Alright, so we got the steel materia finally. I've come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it. Well, I registered a new summons battle intel request. Please take a look. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the materia. Whoa. An hour. That no chocobo. Fool. Let's do. Let me check now. So now we have to do. Beat, we have to get the fat chocobo. Assess 20 enemy types. It says we've done that. Cool. So we'll, we'll pick up that materia. Increase staggered damage bonus to 200. Oh, what is this? 
While analyzing the stagger effect, I verified the existence of a peculiar behavior presumed to be acute response to stress conditions. Increased stagger damage bonus 200%. I'll have to figure out how to do that. Trigger refocus two times. That's Eris can do that. Cool. The stagger effect. Oh, okay. So that's what we did that. But we need this now. We need stagger effect four. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I'll have to check out that uh, that picture of the Lego. I've developed a new material. When I worked at Lego, I, I didn't really look at leaks too much, but now that I don't work there, I'll have to give it. A, I'll have to check it out. Cool. So we got that, and then we have to fight Fat Chocobo, which we're gonna do right now. I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Wow, that is a massive bird. What is a? Uh... Oh, Eris needs to do refocus. Here we go. Cross, Koopo. How's that? Get him. Um, wait, where's her refocus? We got a summon. Get up. Looks like it would give us a big, big venom already. Oh, me too. Me too. You want to pet it or lay on it? <laughs> the, the giant chocobo? Oh, dang, son. Um. Focus. I think we're almost done. I know I have it in me. What's a, a big fig? Oh, a big fig is uh, he's so fluffy that he's.
Uh, Big Fig is like a, it's like a regular, I mean it's, it's like a double-sized Lego minifigure, basically. Boot, yeah, they do a lot of bootleg venom. tell you right now we kicked the shit out of that thing and we're having it for Truly dinner amazing work, we just figured it out big figure this duh it's okay <laughs> yeah they're they're just bigger they're like double sized figures like the hulk whenever you see a hulk lego figure he's usually a big fig yeah all right Great, so now we have a um, fat chocobo. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Um, I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. You got it, dude. So what do we need to do now? We have three left. We gotta stagger four more enemies. <clears throat> we gotta do refocus one more time. Increase stagger damage bonus. Let's uh we can set it as a L1 plus X can give us a high potion. Cool. Wait, when the f when did I get that? The nail bat. Who gave me the nail bat? I think one of the kids did, right? That's hilarious. Does it have? It doesn't have any materia uh, ability disorder. Uh, I hope Venom Two gets merchandise like figures and statues. The first one really missed out on that. Uh, I think that comes to licensing when it comes to Sony stuff with Marvel characters. I think it's 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 hard. So when they did the Venom figures when the first movie came out, the Marvel Legend one, they were based off the comic versions. So they put like you know they try to you know they have Venom obviously, um, but they didn't put any of the movie characters in because they didn't want to do like movie versions of them because I don't think they can. I don't know. There's some weird some weird thing with the rights on that one. I love that I have a nail bat, but. Looks like Negan's bat. It does, doesn't it? But I mean, it doesn't offer me any um, materia spots, so I feel like I, I feel like I would be wasting money or time like switching to it. Um. So we unlocked all those. I think all these are unlocked.
Can upgrade stagger at all? Ooh. We'll do it. Give Cloud more to do. Uh, Hot Toys has the rights. They did uh, Cost Babies of Venom, but based on the movie? I don't remember that. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I remember that. I mean, I don't doubt you. I just, uh, I don't follow Hot Toys. They've always been too expensive for me, so I've never had any interest in them. So he has Wind, Ice, Lightning. Kind of want Assess back, even though it's maxed out. Get steel in there. We're gonna. We're probably gonna need that ability at some point. Yeah, it's based on the movie. It has the white veins. I'm gonna look this up real quick. I don't know if I've seen these. Hot toys. What are they called? Baby. What? Cost baby. This thing, I see. But it's not an so it's not an action figure though. It's a bobblehead. Um, yeah. See, but what? You, okay. Well, I mean, I guess this counts as merchandise. Um, I see what you mean. It is technically movie merchandise. It has the movie logo on it. So. Uh, so yeah. I see what you mean. So there's one with half his face showing and one with the full face. Full venom face, um, yeah. But so, but this isn't an, an action figure or anything like that. So that's what I mean about like um, the rights. I guess yeah, you can do like posters and, and things like that. And I guess you can do bobbleheads. And I think there's a uh, I don't know if Toys Era it looks like, but that might be a Chinese knockoff, like some company doing their own thing and not really having the licensing rights. Um, so I got you. All right, fair enough. Um, let's see, let's go back this way. A couple things we passed. I'd like to check out. Hey there. We're a pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too. Hey, you have a song I want. Dick move getting in my way like that. So we went through all that. Go this way. We just passed some music. There we go. Under the rotting pizza. Look at that, so we got tracks 1, 2, 3, 4, nice. 8, 10, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25. Wow, doing pretty good. I don't know how many tracks there are, but I think we're doing all right.
Okay, move out of my fucking way. Celerus. I wish I got the Venom Thermos. Ooh, I don't know if I've seen that one either. Yes, well, at least the merchandise for the first was f uh, funny with the tagline being, see the movie. I did love that, where they were just like, see the movie. <laughs> that was kind of awesome. Uh, I did like that too. Good call. Wait, uh... No. What's this? Ah. Hey there, friend. Grab a seat. Any seat that's open. So, what will it be? If you want a recommendation, try the recommended special. Yeah, all right. Well, hey there, give me friend. Some. Grab a seat. Okay. Any seat that's open. Okay, I guess I can't really interact with this dude. Stupid NPC. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just kind of eliminating spots on the map. That's all I'm trying to do. Discovery. What? Whoa, where's he going? Where'd he go? There he is. Uh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it! Let me guess. After you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. Whoa. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. No, dude. Got a question for me? Tifa, my love, my light, who are you? Stupid you unicycle no, says, I'm sorry. I if I can't stop, stop talking no, about why? Venom. <laughs> to the guy who hosts the Venom show. I, you're good here, dude. Don't worry. Um, I don't think I got the Thermos either. The Venom Brisk Life Foundation capsule? I don't think I got that either. That was probably like a, um, a marketing thing, right? Like they probably sent it out to influencers or something. I don't know what that is, though. The Life Foundation capsule. What is this place? Uh, let's look around some more. Who the fuck are you? <gasps> what? I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm back here for. Aren't you that leaf house? <gasps> hey, what the hell? Mark? Holy shit, it's the teacher. Digging into people's personal affairs in this town Whoa. is a huge no-no. What are you doing? She here? is well, dressed up you must pretty know, crazy. I wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. I have a problem. Yeah, you and me both, I'd dude. It's all good. You didn't tell the children. No judgments. Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. I've always wanted to dance for a living. That's crazy. I've always wanted to dance for a living. It's pretty cool. It's like the capsule from the movie. That's neat. Yeah, I don't. I feel like I might have seen that now that you mention it, but I cannot believe we just ran into the teacher, and she's dressed back there with her like side boobage going on. <laughs> My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. A hell of a bee costume. Yeah, no kidding, right? Showed that showed a lot actually. Um, okay, so that's crazy that that happened.
All right. We'll go back here and see what's going on. So we can unlock this part of the map. Yeah, <laughs> well, it caught me off guard because when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's cool. It's someone dressed as like a bee. But then the more that like she went into the light, like, and it showed like, <laughs> like side boob and it showed like her hips. And I was like, Jesus, God. Yeah, that was, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that in this game. Um, I mean, I shouldn't say in this game. They've already showed like Tifa's cleavage a ton and a couple other things. But it, still, I was like, I was caught off guard by that. And then realizing it was the teacher, I was like, you got to be kidding me. in the coverage we offer? Only our premium policy will do for you, sir. It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Would you guys move out of my way so I can grab that thing back there? Insurance is more essential than ever these days. What's that? You're very interested in the coverage we offer? I just want... Move? Yes, sir. You might want to sign up for disability insurance. Can I, like, I just wanna, I just want that over there. Why make me come back here, <laughs> like, and have it blocked, and then have a guy for me to talk to who won't move? Do you think the turd in the wind line was threatening? Uh, no, but it was definitely fun. And weird. Maybe the breeze will sober you up. I just need to wait here a little longer. She ought to be out soon. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't believe I bought the same disc twice. Ooh, can I have one? Uh, excuse me, sir. If yes, you like, farm boy. I'll take it. Thank you, lady. Even if you love the artist, you don't need more than one copy. Give me both your copies. Cool, so we got, wait, I saw Materia on the, oh, it's Materia's shop, okay. Oof, the lights here are kind of making my eyes hurt. A rock of lump? Maybe. There's a route over here we didn't get to take. Oh! Hey, you hear about that real narrow street just over there? You're not still wasting your gill at the Honeybee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am. Found me a secret route in, one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is it's filled hmm. with drunks and garbage. Hey. You hear about you're not still <laughs> you bet I am. How we are you sure about this man? Corneo's gonna use him of you. That guy over there, he uh he doing all right, you think? He's fine, just drunk. Like the rest of them. Am I right? Am I going the right way? I am, good. Materia. Get in the materia first. Uh, that scent. I can't stand it. You're making your tummy? Oh. Yep. Okie dokie. Ok, 
Okay, now, uh... Yep, this way. There's Chadley. There's... Whatever that is. Whoa. Please tell me this is where we're going to buy our clothes later. I think if they make Carnage crack jokes, they should be dark, unnerving jokes. Oh, you talking about the next movie? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping... I'm hoping they, they knock it out of the park with... If they give them a sense of humor, like you said, it's got to be a really hey dark there. one. Are you looking for anything in particular today? I don't know yet, man. Please, feel free to look around. Well, probably have to come back here later. Um, okay, so... What haven't we done? We haven't... We gotta go... Where is this at? Oh, that's Sector 5. Okay. So that's where we stopped earlier, I think. No, I don't know where that is, actually. I have no idea. Um, because you can see there's still places on the map we haven't visited yet. Okay. Let's go behind me, straight back. We pass something. Here we go. Anybody in here wanna get in a push-up contest with me? Headband, okay. Can we uh, go up those stairs? No, it doesn't look like it. The only person I've seen in this world that's like really big is Barrett. Everybody else looks like like a a fifteen year old cosplaying as an adult. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. Nice. What you got, buddy? Hard. Hard edge. Lowers. Oh, it raises my attack, but lowers my defense. My defense is six. No. What is it? Well, that would help my defense. Let's get one. Gotta have it. It looks like I have one of these already, though. It says I own one. Supernatural risk cards increase strength by ten percent. Five thousand gil. Jeez. Woody is gonna nail it, and I trust Andy will make it more dark. And this delay is kind of a good thing because now they can perfect the CGI and maybe some reshoots. You know, I've seen a hundred people mention reshoots, and it's like I thought they already did reshoots, like. That's what we what we were um, hearing around the set was that um, that there was a couple things that they thought they could do better, and so they I think they shot them in San Francisco. I mean, yeah, granted, they'll probably still need to do more reshoots, I guess, but I don't know. I was under the impression that they had already tried to do them so they can hit that October release date. But I guess what your point is, and what everyone else's point is, is is uh, now that they don't have that October release date, they can bring people back to do reshoots um, if they need it. So that's, yeah, that's a good point actually. Um, but definitely the CGI, because they're probably, what they're probably doing is, is uh, they probably have like one or two people working on some things right now remotely, whatever they could do remotely. But I imagine a lot of the work they're gonna want 
everyone in the editing bay talking and, and conversing and figuring stuff out. So, so yeah, they're probably just taking they're just taking their time. They don't want to add any pressure onto them or the, the people doing the visual effects. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mentioned it in one of my episodes that they did some reshoots in uh, San Francisco, like already, like they so they they but they didn't call them reshoots basically because they were like, well. It's things I guess they they maybe did in London, and we're like, oh, we'll we'll read, you know, um, we can do, we can do it differently here. We can have like a, you know, I don't know, whatever. That's just what I was hearing. So, um, or someone mentioned like when I visited. And so I don't know how true it is too, because you can't believe everything you hear on a set. But that's what I thought I heard two people talking about. Was someone was like. You guys got any reshoots coming up? And they're like, no, like we, we, you know, and I think some guy was like, no, we, we squeezed in a couple, we're going to squeeze in a few things, you know, coming up here that, uh, that we might have, you know, just to have extra as, or have extra of, um, and things that we shot. I think someone said that, like someone said, uh, cause I was trying to listen. The problem is I was, I, I, when I was first got there, I was trying to listen to people when they were talking. But, but then as the night progressed, um, Orion Starboy uh, from Venomaniacs and uh, and uh, this other guy showed up, uh, this, this other kid I met on Instagram, and they were talking to me. So then I couldn't like listen and eavesdrop anymore. So there was parts, there's sometimes where I only got fragments of conversations and I was like, oh, okay, like I know we're all hanging out, but <laughs> like I'm trying to hear things uh, that, you know, the crew was talking about. But I gotta say the crew was actually very professional and if you did ask them a direct question, they didn't really answer. They'll give you like, hey, are you guys, you know, shooting something or where are you shooting next? And nah, they wouldn't tell you. Was, they were pretty awesome. Um, time worm. Survival that everything's so much. Let's can I sell stuff that'll like maybe help me? We have 99 potions. We don't need... Well, we can only shoot so nine at a time. Cool. Gave us some money. We have 25 ethers. We haven't even used one, so let's sell five. You know what? Let's sell five more. Phoenix down. get all this stuff I should go through my <laughs> I should go through and see what what would be good to equip um, but you know they could still like you said you know after they now that they have more time they could watch a cut and go you know what we would have compromised here before and said let's not do reshoots but now let's do reshoots because we have time so that could be it could open them up for that and reshoots of you know I think the first Venom movie, they did like three days of reshoots. So, yeah, sometimes reshoots don't require that much. That's why when I heard them talking about it, I was like, oh, okay. They knew what they had to reshoot already and squeezed it in before they left San Francisco. Or planned on squeezing in before they left San Francisco. So, that's what I thought. But, uh, like you said, they could watch a cut and go, you know what? Maybe we could do more here. Or maybe we could add something here. And who knows what plan Sony has. Maybe Sony's like, you know what? Throw another Spider-Man scene in the movie. You know, who knows? You never know what them. <laughs> they, they make shit up. All the, like, they just, they're like, whatever, do it, whatever. Figure it out later.
this would add to Tifa's fighting ability. It would drop her magic, but... And I want to buy something nice for Tifa. Do come again. All right. So we can't go in that room for whatever reason. Check it out. Whoa. Uh, I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Oh wait, so this is where we gotta, wait, Urban Advancement District? Where am I going? So that's Cornea, Corneo's place. But I imagine this is the back way in? Yeah, okay. So, I don't wanna do this yet. We're gonna run back out into the city and just explore a little bit longer and then we're gonna wrap this episode up. Um, we'll have to. I'll save that for when we come back because that's clearly where we got to go. And why won't this door open? <laughs> Jukebox, where's that at? Go right here. Okay, yeah. My dear so sorry. I wonder if these are gonna be people that we have to help with here. Clothing store owner. I imagine he's gonna we're gonna have to deal with that at some point. Thank you. I signed with Shinya Records a while back, but I'm still looking for my first big hit. It's been seven years now. Not easy, but you gotta do what you love. And I love to see you it. signed a record deal and this is a new yeah. song of mine. Oh, cool. I was like, wait, where are we going to get the music at? And it's straight from that dude's hands. What's this? Come on, asshole! Hurry the hell up! Oh my god, this guy's going to poop. Uh, I feel like shit. Okay. You're gonna be waiting a while, poop man. Shit! These are high stakes. Kiss my ass. Not if you don't make it out of here alive first. Ready for you know. Got my orders in and that took my walk. Alright. There's a jukebox on the other side of that wall behind me then. I'm glad we came in here because I thought we went in there to get the CD. And here there's a jukebox over here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Wait, I thought I... Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we came here. We got the disc. Yeah, we got it already. Okay. All right. So we still have a couple more shops to hit down here. Right. Sorry, guys. I know this is not super exciting to not advance the plot, but I'm just I just want to get every nook and cranny in here taken care of. So that way, um, you know, tomorrow's episode we can advance the plot and Welcome to the world of tomorrow. To, you know, I just want to knock all these little things out right now. I need to be in. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. 
You may not like the people you find down here, and they may not. Yeah, I want that. We're okay. cool though. Just blowing up. We're not up to anything. Honest. We this just alley is like a sanctuary for Hold us. Hold it. You should Best to steer clear of this alley. We're cool oh, you're standing up now. I thought he was ready to fight me. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, did you finish Test Stranding? Nope. I played three hours of it. And then my grandma died. And I was like, I don't want to play anymore. Um, so, uh, yeah, I never did finish it. Dude, please cut my throat. Ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get your throat cut here. Why is everyone here sick? Everyone here's gotta poop or throw up. It's so weird. I better not eat anything. Did everyone here order that dude special? Remember we got here and that guy was like, "You want to order the special?" What happened with you? Aren't you a curious cat? Walk that's a great Kelly's. game. Oh no, I'm sorry. So also sorry about that. Too. Hey, that's okay. Yeah, we got to the mission where we had to bury our mom. Uh, I guess our mom was like the president or something. Or so we got like, anything. like I said, it was pretty early in the game. Um, and I was loving it. I thought it was awesome. So none of these guys will let me go through. Dang. Um, and so yeah, we did that. It was like our our the you know the main character's mom died. We went and incinerated her body, and then literally the next day my grandma died. And I was like, yeah, okay, I don't feel like playing that game right now. And then I just never went back to it. Um, I will. I'll get. I'll get back to it eventually. I just I'm not in any rush. Heard it's a pretty sad game too. Like beyond that part, I heard it's still. Pretty sad game. That's funny that you hear that song? I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering splendor. That's totally fucking Aladdin. <laughs> Is that not the Aladdin song? Uh, I mean, yeah, it did and it didn't, unfortunately. Um, I don't have a lot of memories of my grandparents, so when they both passed, uh, I knew to feel sad, but I just, you know, not in the way I probably, not as sad as I probably would be normally if I had a lifetime of memories of them. But unfortunately, I don't really remember them. So it was, uh, I was sad, but not, you know. My mom was worse, obviously. And so I, I just tried to make myself available to, to my mom. So it was definitely hard for her. Yeah, it does sound like the Aladdin song, right? Thanks, buddy. Thanks for what, man? I didn't buy anything. You don't have shit. Owning a shop outside the town like this, nobody's gonna come visit you.
crazy. Look at that. Says we didn't go all the way all the way over there. I'm a map a map completionist because of Resident Evil. Resident Evil, you know, will make you go through every room and look for things and so yeah, because of that game I am I I check every nook and cranny of maps if I can. So that's where we went underground earlier. I just want to go com complete this one area real quick. It says we didn't enter it, but I want to see why. So yeah, right there. And I guess we just can't. Dang, okay. That's why we couldn't go there, because there's nothing to go to. Will you play Predator Hunting Grounds? I do not have any more money for video games, so probably not. Um, and that looks like one of those games like Friday the 13th where I'll probably wait until it goes on sale. And I'll, I'll play it then. Um, but, uh, yeah, because it, it looks just like Friday the 13th, like almost. It's like a similar style. Which is cool. It's, I love Predator. So it's, uh, it's definitely a neat, uh, a neat way to do a Predator game. It's just like, just do what they do with the Jason game. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm probably not going to get that. Uh, right anytime soon. I have a ton of games to play anyway. Like there's stuff we we bought. There was stuff that was donated, like Monster Hunter. I want to play a little bit more of that with Lonely Symbiote. Um, yeah, I'm. I mean, I might. Yeah, like down the road, I might. I might buy it down the road, maybe. Because um, I did enjoy. Like I bought Friday the Thirteenth when it was like twenty bucks, and I was like, yeah, this game was awesome. For twenty bucks, it was a. That was an awesome game. Uh, but Monster Hunter Lonely Symbiote donated that to us, and we ne we only played like two hours or three hours of it. So I'd like to play a little bit more of that, just because it was you know a gift, which was a really nice gift too. Um, all right, up here is the. Where's the bed? Right. How do we increase stagger? It says there's a check mark next to it, but not written, not like a, yeah, it doesn't say complete. Increase stagger damage bonus to 200%. How do I do that? Maybe by doing staggering 40 enemies? Maybe that'll help? I'm excited for you to play a Monster Hunter and God of War. God of War we gotta get back to as well. Okay, that is goddamn Aladdin. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Shut your mouth. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to run up here and we're going to save.
And God of War games are awesome. Yeah, I've played them. Um, well, I never played them. I watched my friend play one, two, and three, and then I played a game like it that was called uh, Dante's Inferno, which I'd like to play at some point. I own it on the Xbox. I'd love to play that at some point too. Um, but uh, my brother got a crazy deal on Mortal Kombat X for like eight bucks and it came with Jason and Predator. I did too, actually I got it for five bucks. The Mortal Kombat XL is what it's called. Um, and I got it for five dollars for the Xbox. So yeah, I got, let's see, for Xbox, I picked up a few games. I got Mortal Kombat XL, Quantum Break. Um, oh man, I'm blanking on the other two. But they were five dollars a piece at GameStop, right before GameStop and every all the businesses closed up. It was like my last week of work at Lego. And one of the nights I got off early, so I walked over to GameStop to buy like a Funko Pop or a t-shirt or something like that. And they didn't have any that I was looking for. And when I went in though, I saw um, I saw these games and they were like Xbox games, $5 each. And most of the games that were to pick from were like less than two years old. I was like, wow, this is a great deal. So um, your uncle has them on, PS, on PS3, nice. So yeah, so on Xbox One, I got Mortal Kombat XL, Quantum Break, and then uh, Sinking Sinking City, which was like a, a Cthulhu-type monster game that I wanted to play like a year ago. And when it came out, I didn't have any money for it because it was like a you know, six, $50 to $60 game. Uh, but then I got it for five bucks. I was like, holy cow. So um, so I have like five or six games in Dante's Inferno is another one. Um, Green Lantern I got two, Rise of the Manhunters. So there's a bunch of games, there's like five or six games I got on the uh, Xbox. And then on PlayStation, I picked up Shadow of the Tomb Raider because we've played the first two Tomb Raiders on this channel uh, on the uh, and I put them on YouTube and they were awesome. I liked both of the new Tomb Raider games. They were really good. So we got the third one. I bought it for like 10 bucks. Um, although we never did play the DLC of the second one, but I don't really care. Um, and then we just played Control. I have, uh, what are the games? I have Final Fantasy VIII that I'd like to play at some point after we beat this. God of War, Monster Hunter. Um, yeah, I don't know. There was like, but I have like 15 games to play. So I'm not looking to buy any new games for a while. Uh, yeah, and I got, and I, I probably spent $100 for all 15 of those games that I got. I, maybe it was like maybe 12 or 13 games, but either way, um, I spent less than a hundred bucks on all of them. And that was what I, when I got my tax money in, in February, that's what I did. I, the first hundred I had, I was like, let's buy a bunch of games because if the world really is going to go on lockdown, I want a ton of games to play. The problem is I don't have time to play games all day. And, uh, even though I don't have a job, I still am like working on stuff and, uh, writing my book is the main thing I'm trying to get done. Um, so yeah, it's a lot. What Spider-Man games have you played? I've played them all, I think. From from the Nintendo, was it Nintendo? I know Maximum Carnage was like a Super Nintendo game, um, and a and a Genesis game. But I I think I've played them all. I've played Web of Shadows. I've played uh, the movie games. Um, I've played the non-movie games. The the one that was on PlayStation One, Spider-Man One and Spider-Man Two. Um, I played the, 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 the one with all the dimensions, uh, Web of Time or something, and I played Friend or Foe. I had to play that one because it had Prowler in it. I think that was the first Spider-Man game with Prowler in it, and I had to get it because I'm a huge Prowler fan. Um, obviously, I played the newest Spider-Man game, so yeah, I played a ton. I, I, yeah, Spider-Man games are usually fun. The only one I didn't play was Amazing Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man 2, and uh, someone was like, dude, you got to play Amazing Spider-Man 2. They put Carnage in it. He's the final boss. And I was like, what? So I never played it, but I did look online. And I watched someone else's playthrough of it. And uh, yeah, it looked like a fun game. I never played. I didn't like those movies at all. So that's why I never played the games. So I would say probably the two Amazing Spider-Man games I definitely didn't play. And I'm sure there's like a, a Game Boy 1 or, or, or something that I probably didn't play either. Web of Shadow, PS4, and Spider-Man 2 are my favorite. Spider-Man 2 is a good game, but it's also based on one of the best comic book movies of all time, in my opinion. 
Um, anyway, I'm, uh, I'm starting to, to lose it here, and I know Echo needs a walk, so I'm going to let you guys go for the night. I will come back on and play this tomorrow. My, my episode is still rendering. It's not done, so it looks like I'm going to be going to bed, and, and that's, that's going to be rendering for another you know, half hour to an hour, probably. It looks like it's going really slow. Um, but uh, once I get that episode posted tomorrow, and then once I get my Superman podcast posted, hopefully I'll have both those things done by like noon or 2 p.m. at the latest for the Superman podcast. Then keep an eye out on my Instagram because I'll probably come back on here and play um, and play it, uh, play play more of this. Because yeah, we're 14 hours and 15 minutes in now, and I want to see what happens. I want to go to Aerith. Uh, or get Aerith and go to Tifa. God, I gotta stop confusing your names. I'm gonna, they're both gonna break up with me. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, we're gonna go save Tifa. So, so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing where this story goes. And I imagine this is gonna be the part where we have to dress up like a girl, um, or Cloud has to dress up and drag to enter this facility. I'm gonna guess. So uh, so that'll be fun to watch too. <laughs> Um, yeah, Web of Shadows, I played that a lot, too. I like that one. Uh, good night. I'll keep my best to keep an eye out. No problem, Sid. And thank you again for donating this game. Uh, I'm so glad we're, like, 14 hours into this, and we're only halfway through the game. Because I think there's 18 chapters, and we're in the middle of Chapter 9 right now. So, yeah, I mean, we're only halfway through. I love it. Oh, I love that so much. Uh, like, normally, long games used to, like, bum me out. Uh, but now that I don't, you know, I'm only just working on my book and my videos, it's like... It's, I'm like, now Now long games are great. <laughs> so it's great that we have this one. So uh, Angel, what's up? Hey, you're coming in right at the end. I'm saying my goodbyes. But I'll have to catch you next time, Angel. Sid, uh, um, everyone else who's been here, uh, thank you very much. U Unicycle, thank you. Uh, yeah, episode 500 Venom Vlog, I'll put that up tomorrow. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys later. And I'll try to come back and play more of this tomorrow. Peace.